In my first MixPre USB functionality video, I talked about the basic functions of using the Sound Devices MixPres as a USB interface for your computer. But what if you want to go a little more advanced? What if you want audio that is coming into the mix pre's via USB to go back out via USB into another program. Example. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. I'm having a Skype call with someone. I can record my microphone and their audio via Skype into the mix pre. I also want to make a video recording of this Skype call. I want the mix pre audio to go to that and I'm going to use the screen video capture feature of QuickTime to do this. There are some steps you need to take in order to get the audio going out of the computer via USB into the mix pre, back into the computer and into whatever software you are wanting the secondary recording to take place in. So real quick, I wanna thank Danny and tech support at Sound Devices for his help on this because he helped me get this all sorted out. Okay. So on your Mac, you go to your system preferences. You need to click on the sound icon. This will take you to the Mac's input and output options for audio. Set both the input and output to the Mix Pre. In my case, it's the Mix Pre 6. Okay, this next part is a little tricky, so you gotta pay attention. You need to go to your audio MIDI setup. I didn't know where this was on the Mac, so I just did a spotlight search for it. Once you get there, on the left side of the audio devices window, select the mix pre. On the right side of the audio devices window, you will see input and output. Under input, set your format in the drop down menus to whatever sample rate you want. And then in the next drop down menu, select eight channel 24 bit integer. This is important. This allows the Mac to see all the USB outputs coming from the mix pre's. For the output, I have it set to 48 kilohertz for channel 24 bit integer. If you don't do this, you won't see the audio coming out of the mix pre's USB port coming back into a secondary program. So now that I've done this, I can take this audio and QuickTime will see it. So I can now record video and audio of a Skype call and have the audio pass through my Mix Pre 6 and record it right into QuickTime. So that's a quick rundown on some advanced USB features with the Sound Devices Mix Pre. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, DaveF at DVEstore.com. Do yourself a favor and subscribe right now because when you do, you'll get notified when I upload new videos with lots of cool information. Information that I learned from lots of expensive college and years of experience. Only you get it for free. So subscribe right now.